Okay, so today I'm going to be doing a products I used up, and I have a bag full of the products here, and just this big lots bag, and like, there's a lot of stuff in here, and these are just my, um, empty products for the month of February, so I'm just going to get into it, I'm not doing any particular category, and, um, the first thing that's in here is the Dove purely pampering body wash um and it's shea butter with vanilla is what the scent is and this does actually smell like really good so I really like this and especially for the winter I have really sensitive skin and this works really well for my skin in the winter time especially next thing I have in here is I have like a lot of sheet masks in here I have um one of the Tony Moly I'm Real Avocado Mask. I have the I'm Real Tomato Mask. The Lemon Mask, which is supposed to be brightening. And then I have a Shrey Miss Amazing Mask that I got my BoxyCharm this month. And it's exclusive to BoxyCharm is what it said. So, yeah, but these are all really good masks. I love these Tony Moly Masks. And they just really give a lot of moisture to my skin. And this avocado one was amazing. And I love the tomato one. And it really did actually make my skin very radiant after I used it. And I also really love the lemon one. And the Shrey Miss Amazing is really awesome. I don't think you can, yeah, I don't think you can purchase this one. But this is really, really awesome. And I really liked this as well. The next thing that's in here is Epiol Green Tea Cleansing Tissues for all skin types. And I got these at Big Lots. They were only like a dollar. The only place I ever saw these other than Big Lots past time was in Mexico at this one store, but I don't remember what it was. But these are really good. I wouldn't recommend them for people who wear like a lot of makeup or anything. I mostly use them to like take swatches off my hands to, um clean my skin in the morning if I didn't like feel like washing my face at the sink which I know is bad but sometimes I do it and yeah so for removing makeup though for removing light makeup these are really good I just wouldn't recommend them for heavy duty makeup but the Neutrogena ones are really good for that the next thing I have in here is a Jergens ultra healing body lotion it says nourishes and heals for visibly healthier skin and it makes your skin illuminated which I believe it does I really I believe that it does give an illumination factor to your skin and I have very sensitive skin so I can't use a lot of different lotions but this one really works for me and I really love this one and I buy all the different kinds of Jergens lotions and I really like them all but this one I really like this one because it gives illumination to the skin and it just makes you look like you're glowing and especially in the summer that'd be really awesome and then I have I honestly use this up probably once a month I always buy either this or the Dickinson's one and it's the pore perfecting CVS pharmacy toner 100% natural whisk hazel and oil free non drying for all skin types paraben free with no artificial fragrances or dyes and it says it's pores and gently removes dirt, oil, and makeup. And I buy this, like, I repurchase this, like, every time I run out of it. I have another one over here. I really love this. If I can't find the Dickinson's one, this one is really awesome. And I have... I have a Bath & Body Works hand soap. And this is Spiced Apple Toddy. And I really liked this hand soap, and I can still smell it. Apple scents are my favorite, favorite, favorite scents. So I absolutely love this and I'll definitely, if it comes out again, I'll repurchase it. I, repur I purchase a lot of Apple scents from Bath & Body Works. Speaking of Bath & Body Works Apple scents, I used up another a Sun, a Sun Crisp Apple Harvest 24 hour lotion and I've, I reused one of these up in my last empties video. But I love this and the only ones that I can use, like, Sometimes my skin works with Bath & Body Works lotions and sometimes it doesn't. I don't know what it is, but sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Right now is a time when it does, so 
I've been using the body creams and I have one, I thought I had one other of this, but I'm not sure. Now I have a um, hair mask and this is the Mixed Chicks Deep Conditioner. And I ran out of this recently. It says nourish, detangle, and restore your thirsty locks. But yeah, I really like this and it really works for my hair, for my very dry curly hair. I used up, which I I never talk about like what hair dyes I use and stuff, so I thought that I'd throw this in here and it's the Wella Color Charm Permanent Gel Hair Color in Cyclamen and that's what I use to dye my hair. It's just, it's a coppery red kind of color and it's a very beautiful color. I absolutely love it. I used to use the liquid color, but the gel one just seems a lot easier to work with, so I bought the gel hair color this time. And then going along with that is the, I used up an Ion Sensitive Scalp 9% Developer, a 30 volume. Yeah, I purchased these at Sally's and the Wella Color Charm at Sally's, so I absolutely love it. And I usually either buy this or just the regular one. They both don't irritate my scalp, but I do have a sensitive scalp. I used up a pack of um, cotton rounds. I always buy the Swispers cotton rounds because these are just stronger and like really nice. They're soft, but they're really strong and they don't like fall apart as easily. So I like the Swispers ones. So yeah, and I use those up all the time. So this is probably the only time you're gonna see it in an empty video because I don't wanna repeat products all the time. And then I have a Tree Hut Shea Sugar Scrub in Pomegranate Acai. And I got that. Okay. And this smells really good. I'm going to smell this. It just smells like berries and I love it. So this smells really awesome and I love this. And I love the Tree Hut Sugar Scrubs. A bunch of the different scents. I like all of them pretty much. And it's one of the only scrubs that don't really irritate my skin that much. And in here I have a face cleanser and this is Nuke's Rev de Meal. I don't know if it's Rev de Meal or Rev de Mel. And it's a face cleansing and makeup removing gel with honey and sunflower. And honestly, I have very sensitive skin and this does have a scent to it. I don't know if this irritated my skin, but sometimes when I put it on, like it would I would have like kind of a burning sensation. I did use it up, but it was I wasn't the only one using it. Like me and my cousin like were using it, but um yeah, I don't know if this irritated her skin, but it irritated mine just a little bit because I don't know if you guys have smelled this before, but it it's so strongly scented, like it's very strongly scented. It smells like perfume, but I don't think I'd purchase it again just because of the smell. Next in here I have a Agave Healing Oil oil treatment. And this is the smaller size, which is the two ounce. And I got this at TJ Maxx for like $6. And I was so excited when I found it, so I purchased it. It was like, I think, either five or six. But I purchased one of these, and I really love it. I wish I would have bought more, because I ran out of this, and I loved this oil. Like, I absolutely loved it. It made my hair very hydrated. It wasn't drying. It was just really awesome, and it didn't make my hair greasy either. And I absolutely love it. I think it would work for a lot of different hair types, and I would buy it again. But if I saw it again there, I don't know if I'd pay like the full price for it because that's just like a lot, but I don't know. For a hair oil because I could buy like organic argan oil or something for like $12. But yeah, so. And the next thing that I used up is the Origins High, Poten High Potency Nitamins. And it's a mineral rich renewal cream. This is just the regular version, not the oil free, but this smells amazing like this has the scent of tangerines and I love it and it didn't seem to irritate my skin and it did leave my skin more hydrated and it, I feel like it did help renew cells because my skin just was a lot more smooth and stuff I really liked this and if another deal was to happen where because I was able to get this for like $23 because I had $10 in points and I had um, a $10 off of 
20 or 30 coupon. So yeah, I really like this and it was awesome. And I would probably repurchase in the future. And then I just have a few more things in here. And the first thing I have is a concealer and this is the Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Concealer. And it says with Actyl C and it's oil free and I have the color light medium and I bought it in the color light medium because I want it to be a little more highlighting and as we're in winter I'm pretty pale so I really liked this and it had very good staying power and stuff so I would recommend this concealer and then the next thing I have in here is the Marcel New Age 8-in-1 Power Serum And this is just a little sample size that I got in my birch box. And I really liked this. I don't know if I'd purchase it because I honestly, like, I'm, I feel like I'm kind of young to be starting anti-aging products. And my skin doesn't have any aging, so I feel like it would just be, like, a waste of my time. But, and, like, people age. I'm really not into that whole anti-aging, like, you have to look young type stuff. I'm just not feeling it. But yeah, so, and then the last thing that I used up is the Stila Huge Mascara. Right now I've been using the, um, the Dior Show Lash Plumping Serum, and this with that is not a good mix. It makes it look, um, very clumpy and just not very good. So yeah, those were my products I used up for the month of February, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.